Hello, and welcome back to the Garden of Grace Devotion. My name is Pastor Katie, and I'm one of the pastors at Trinity Lutheran Church in Lilburn, Georgia. Today, I would like to begin the Garden of Grace Devotion with a question. Do you ever think much about the people that have helped to shape your life? People that have held the light of hope for you, people that have encouraged you and challenged you, people that have provided for you, shown you love and compassion. Over the past month or so, I've been thinking about this theme. I've been thinking about the people that have helped to shape my life and those who continue to encourage and challenge and offer me words of hope today. I started thinking about this theme, about those who have helped to shape my life about a month ago. About a month ago, as I was sitting at the bedside of a woman who was on her last couple of weeks of her journey in this life. As she was reflecting on her life and her transition from this world to the next, one of the questions that she asked me had to do with whether or not I still think about my grandmother, even though she died 18 years ago. In that moment, I looked at this woman who was a mother, a grandmother, and a great grandmother. I looked at this woman and I think that she was trying to figure out how she would be remembered and if she would be remembered for years and years to come. And I looked at her and I told her that I think about my grandmother daily, that she is a part of me, that she helped to shape my life even though she passed 18 years ago from this life to the next. She is a part of me, a part of the things I say and do regularly. Like the melody of a song that resurfaces in your mind from time to time, over the days that followed, the words from that conversation kept coming back to me those words about how there are people that help shape your life. And that conversation helped to provide the foundation for me as I journeyed into All Saints Sunday this year. On All Saints Sunday during morning worship, we give thanks. We give thanks for all the saints, particularly those who have, who now rest from their labors. We give thanks for the saints who have passed on. As part of All Saints Sunday, we have a liturgy that we read. And this year, there was a part of the liturgy that really resonated with me. It began with a prayer and it's called the Litany of Remembrance. This was a responsive prayer and it read, at the rising of the sun and at its going down, we remember them. At the blowing of the wind and the chill of winter, we remember them. At the opening of the buds and the rebirth of spring, we remember them. At the blueness of the skies and in the warmth of winter, we remember them. At the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. During the holidays, occasions, and at the year's end, we remember them. As long as we live, they too will live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. 
When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick in heart, we remember them. When we have joy, we want to share. We remember them. It is this fourth from last line that really warmed my heart each time we read it that Sunday morning in both services. The line that said, as long as we live, they too will live for they are now a part of us as we remember them. As I sat in that service that Sunday, on an empty space in my bulletin, I began to make a list, a list of those I remember, a list of those who have shaped my life, a list of people without whom I would not be who I am today. There were obvious people on that list, especially in the beginning of it. My grandparents, my mother, my godparents, my pastor and his wife growing up. Beyond that though, as I set, as I set aside time to remember, I wrote down the names of quite a few people some of whom I haven't thought of in a really long time. People who have had a positive effect on my life, people who have helped to shape me. I thought about the usher at church when I was a child, Mr. Bob Young. And it took me a while to come up with his name. I couldn't remember it at first, but I remember how I felt each Sunday when I went to find Mr. Bob Young because he had a little vitamin in his pocket. Do you remember vitamins? There were these little square mints. Mr. Bob Young had a vitamin in his pocket every Sunday morning for me. I thought about one of the women of the congregation who had been one of my Sunday school teachers. Her name was Margaret Stahl. Years later, the scholarship fund she set up would help to support me as I went to seminary. I thought about my Aunt Marie and Uncle Greg who always helped me feel welcome and special. There are not many people in my life currently that would remember these people or even know who they are. However, they are affected by them because of the ways that these people have shaped my life. It is, with grief, it is with deep gratitude that I remembered those beloved saints that Sunday morning. I just wrote name after name after name. Then, last Saturday, I attended a memorial service where my idea of gratitude for saints was, te was taken a step further. I attended a memorial service to celebrate the life of a man who died young in his early 60s. One of the folks who spoke at the funeral encouraged those listening to think about people in their lives, who encouraged them, who helped to shape them in positive ways and to tell them so. This man appeared to speak with some sense of regret that he hadn't told the gentleman who'd passed away what a tremendous impact he had on his life, how he was a different person because of him. As I sat there last Saturday and I listened to those words, I was reminded of the list of saints who have gone before me that I had written on my bulletin on All Saints Sunday. And I began to think of the saints that are still with us. Those who continue to shape my life. For those who are still with us are also part of All Saints Sunday and All Saints Every Day. According to Martin Luther, we are all at the same time saint and sinner. So there are saints around us in all that we do 
and we too can be saints to others through God's grace. Sometimes I forget though, like the gentleman at the memorial service who wished he would have said more to his friend who is now with the Lord. I too forget to say thank you to those who are currently in my life who journey with me. In his devotion on Monday of this week, Pastor Scott encouraged each of us to take a moment every day to thank God for three different things. I think he even encouraged us to write them down, to write down three things each day that we're thankful for leading up to Thanksgiving. I too encourage this practice from now to Thanksgiving, this practice of taking time to thank God each day for the blessings in our lives. It can actually reshape our thinking. We can develop an attitude of gratitude which can permeate who we are. Along these lines, if one of the thank yous you offer to God happens to include thanks for a person in your life, I'd like to encourage you to tell them. What if every day between now and Thanksgiving, you reached out to one person and let them know that they make a difference in your life? somebody that might be surprised to hear from you. Maybe they did something for you years ago and you haven't ever acknowledged it. What might it be like to reach out and to let them know that you are a different person because of them? What might it be like to reach out and thank them for shining the light of hope in your life? or encouraging you in a time when you needed it. If your words of thanks happen to be for someone who has already passed on, maybe talk to God about it. Or perhaps there's someone that also knew them that you could talk to about them and about your gratitude for the way they impacted you. Sometimes it can be easy to forget the positive impact that others have had on our lives. But during these days leading up to Thanksgiving, let us remember a couple of weeks ago, I had a final visit with a gentleman who just days later was transitioning from this life to the next. And in that moment, through God's grace, I was able to tell him that I am a different person because I have known him. And he said the same. How many people in our lives is that true? How many could we say that about? I am so thankful to have been reminded over the last month or so of the saints who have gone before me and those who journey with me today. Thanks be to God for all the saints. And may the peace of the Lord be with you today and always. Amen.